Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what I'd like to do today is talk about a very powerful but possibly unknown feature of 1CNC, and that's the trace image command. The trace image command provides the ability to convert an image into lines and arcs. That way, you could then take those lines and arcs and apply toolpath. A good example of that may be that you have a business card, and maybe you would like to engrave the logo that's on your business card onto a part. I want to demonstrate how you can easily do that within 1CNC. All right, so first of all, let me show you what we're going to work with. Here's a picture of my CUDA, and the goal here is that what we want to do is just engrave this right down here onto a 3x3 three three piece of aluminum, okay? So how do we do that? Well, what you do is within 1CNC, come up here to File, and then select Trace Image. Once you select Trace Image, the first thing you're going to want to do is select your image, and I've already done that, but you can click this button here and grab whatever image you'd like. All right, so I already have my image selected. Now, there's two ways to use this. You could leave the auto trace undone and say display on screen, yes, click OK to that. That's going to put the image on the screen, and then you can manually trace this if you want to. That's OK, but there's a better way to do that, a faster way. And that way is like this. Come up here and select File, Trace Image. Same thing. You're going to want to select the image that you want. I don't need to look at the image on the screen, so I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to select Auto Trace Image. And then you can also adjust the threshold here. So you can play with the threshold back and forth. I'm going to leave it right there. And then what we're going to do is click OK. Once I do that, the image is going to disappear, but you're going to see lines and arcs created around the image based upon the threshold that I have. So if we zoom in here, you can see there's the CUDA. We're going to be using that. Now by adjusting the threshold, you can make this a lot more accurate, but this is going to be fine for this example. So what you want to do now is get rid of what you don't want. I just like using the rectangular marquee tool for that. So I'm just going to just drag some rectangles around and grab the shapes that I don't want come up like that, hit the delete key on the keyboard, and then if you rotate your view just a little bit, then hit the spacebar twice, that'll perform a zoom extents, and that tells you that you've gotten rid of any extra geometry. This looks pretty good. There's still some geometry I want to delete, so I'm going to grab that. Let's grab that and hit the delete key on the keyboard. Very good. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to create a 3x3 three three piece of aluminum that we're going to be engraving this on. So let's head up here to our line, rectangle, and I'm just going to drag out a 3x3 three three shape, just like that. All right, now we want to take our emblem and we want to move it over here. So we need to select it first. That looks good. Let's go to move. And while we move it, let's also scale it up. Now let's scale it up three times. So we'll grab an anchor point and drag this exactly where we want it. Let's put that right there. And remember, this can be a lot more accurate depending on whatever threshold you used when performing the trace image. This looks good. Let's temporarily hide our stock because we don't need to machine that. So I'm going to select it, hit the letter B on the keyboard to hide it. That's just like using the blank tool up here. Now we're going to engrave this. So to engrave it, let's head over to our command manager. We'll go into stock tool paths and we're going to go to our engraving tools. These options here take the very center of the tool and they drive it on geometry. Okay, that's the difference between these commands and all of these commands is that these commands will drive the very center of the tool on the geometry. Now our geometry is flat, so we're going to either use Cut Chain 2D or Engrave All 2D. If you use Cut Chain 2D, you can only select one boundary at a time. That means that I have to use Cut Chain 2D on that, then another Cut Chain 2D on that, another one, another one, another one, another one. That's going to be a lot of commands to get this done. Whereas if you select Engrave All 2D, it'll engrave all the geometry that's on the screen. And that's what we want. So Engrave All 2D. Now I already have a tool selected. You can use any type of tool you want for engraving. I've even seen some people use center drills for that. I have a chamfer tool here. All this looks good. We'll click Next on that. I'm going to reduce my depth to maybe how about 10 thousandths on there. We'll click Next. I don't need to take it in multiple passes. We're going to just do it in one pass. And that's it. That's done. Now let's bring back our stock and let's simulate this. We're going to right hand mouse click, simulate, pick a boundary. 
I'm going to grab that shape there and right click. And here we go. Here's the engraving of our part. Very, very neat. Now, again, you can change the resolution of your trace image by the threshold, but you can see that one CNC has the ability to convert an image into lines and arcs so you can apply toolpath. Very, very neat. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.